All right. Hey everybody, welcome to Valley. This is a game I haven't really seen online a whole lot. Um, I actually haven't seen pretty much anyone play it, but it's a very pretty game. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start from the beginning. The Life Seed is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. This looks like a nutmeg pod. I don't know if you've ever seen a nutmeg pod, but they kind of look like that. Only they're black, I think. Black? Gray? With, like, bright red webbing. Looks like a demon heart, to be honest. <laughs> it's, it's horrifying. Um, if you've never seen one before. like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something, spend a month in Thailand. But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. <laughs> this tech is old. Oh. Lessons, so. Huh? Yeah. Discount. What's well, your fault, my man? I don't know who that was. Friend, boyfriend, I don't know. Um, can I. Can I. No, no? Alright. Can I take my. What are those? Beans? Can I take my. Beans, ramen, I honestly can't. Are those plastic bags or cans? I can't tell. I think they're plastic bags. Regardless, apparently I can't take any of this. Oh yeah, there's more. Pho photographs? You can't crouch in this game, so I can't really tell. I can't even jump at the moment. This game is gorgeous, though. cave drawings it's referring to uh, are this. Is this dark for you guys? I'm gonna turn my brightness up a little bit. Yeah, hopefully that's a little better for y'all. Now, I've already played this game, so I kind of know where I am and what I'm doing. Um... Which I specifically did so that I wouldn't be spending 45 minutes doing absolutely nothing while people on the other side of the screen scream at me for being a fool and not noticing something obvious. Nice plants. More of these. <clears throat> Usually, um, as far as I can tell, normally when people have like caved or whoa, my recording frames are... Not so hot. Checking over there. OBS, hope you're doing alright. Uh, normally when there are like cave drawings and stuff, it's on the walls, not on fabric hung up. What's that? Yeah. <clears throat> normally it's on the... Stop. On the actual walls. Why was I canoeing down a random river in a cave anyway? I'm 
music in this game is so good. And then there's these little guys. Hello. And some pottery that's just been there for... ever. <clears throat> hey, little dudes. They're totally harmless. Not really sure what they are. <laughs> My guy's like, uh... Alright, clearly I've lost it. Which, to be fair, probably what I would think, too. We got some classic glowy mushrooms. Love that. Don't worry, this game does have a story, and it's a very good one. We're actually about to stumble upon it. Looks like a mechanical suit. What? In Virginia King evidence. Leaping high into the air, sprinting as quickly as a cheetah, manipulating the power of life and death itself. One of those is not like the others. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley. Just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. The life seed actually exists. <laughs> what? Here's a piece of paper that's somehow survived on the ground since 1941. Or 1944. Note from Virginia King, October 15th, 1944. The Northeast Dig site is providing a number of clues towards the stone-cutting techniques of the ancient inhabitants. The Pathfinders assigned to exploring the site have uncovered a, wi a wide array of tools that may have been used. With any luck, we can attempt to reproduce the methodology. So now we have... Yeah, when I originally played this game, I was like, Oh, we're not supposed to go find the light. They already found the life seat. Okay. And I do not take fall damage now because of my magical leaf suit. Oh, okay, yep. Ah, yes.
yeah. Ignore the fact that I just ran into a tree. Can be given energy stored within the leaf suit known as Amrita can be given to once living things. I can bring these trees back to life. Energy low. Big rip. I'm gonna bring this deer back to life. Because I can. I'm a good person. Don't worry, I'll get more. Can't go in the water, you see. <laughs> the scenery in this game is goddamn beautiful. Life can also be taken from nearby living things rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to replenish your suit. Less robust, re less robust life forms, such as blades of grass, provide no value. So I could kill. It's gonna make me do it. I don't wanna, but I like never do. Practice zones. Yeah, the music in this game is amazing. Alrighty. Oh god, my energy reserves are so small. <laughs> Quest updated. Alright, what do we got? <clears throat> we got some really phenomenal and slightly out of place god rays, it seems. Unless they're just coming from this thing. Which I think they are. Ah. This seems like these fireflies react to energy. I can't remember if there's any secrets in this area. Yeah. So, the thing about this game is... There are those segments, like that entire area that I ran through. I can explore that slowly, and I might find more stuff. Or I can just run through it at top speed, which is fun. <laughs> Secret stuff everywhere. Ener energy capacity is increased with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. So as soon as I find two more of those, I'll get another one of those little um, things up on the top left. Note from a pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. 
I can't believe how friendly they are, brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. Oh, look at those. God rays. Oops. Here. And boom. That gives me another one. I think when it does that, it refills all my, um, all my stuff. A vase. Or a jar. Amphora. We'll just call it that. Okay, a little bit of lag. I think. There's another one we need to get there. Love the, um... Door. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders since they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. So I will say, um, before it comes up, there is, uh... Oh, these medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. And an acorn. Collect enough acorns to gain access through certain ancient doorways. Oops. So, before it comes up, I will say there's some... Cultural insensitivity, we'll say, with names of things and their depictions. And I'm sure you'll realize what I mean when it comes up. If you haven't already guessed. Alright, so from here, he's following momentum to break through crack surfaces. Uh, oh, right. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to go down there yet. <laughs> so, kind of... Stop! Oh, my God. Um, kind of glad I managed to get out of there somehow. I actually want to go back here first. And grab whatever is in this crates. So I don't actually remember... What do we got? Acorns. Medallion acorn. Okay, not that impressive. I keep looking over to the <laughs> to my other monitor like I'm gonna see the chat or something. No, this is uh This isn't live. I'll just run into the mist. Soldiers piloting leaf suits leap effortlessly through air functionality someone tried really hard for that acronym are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. I do like that these loading screens are long enough for me to probably read all of those. Alright. Continue a search for the life seed. Not the life scene. Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> it's such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. Don't go in the water, by the way. Got another capacitor. Got some masks. Alright. 
Now I will I will show a bit of an Easter egg. So Cyrus Valley. Um, no, where is it? I think it's down behind here somewhere. Not this, don't worry. Um, where is it? So, Blue Isle Studios. Blue Isle? Blue Isle, Blue Isle Studios? Um, are the same people that did... Uh, let's see. Where is it? I just want to... I want to just show you. Can't find the thing. Where is it? I don't know one of them's around here. Oh, maybe it's back... What? Oh, I think that might be a glitch. That might just be a graphical error. Um, where is it? Okay, maybe I can't find it, and I'm losing my mind. Um, hmm. I could have sworn one of them was around here. Okay, well, uh, hmm. I guess we'll come back to that. Really? I just could have sworn. <clears throat> it might be because I've already found them on this. Okay, it might actually be because I've already found them in this. Like, like I personally have already found them. Um, but Blue Isle Studios is the same, that's the same people who produced uh, Slender. So they actually included an Easter egg and, achie and, an, and an achievement in their game where you can find eight notebook pages from Slender in various parts of Valley, and every time you pick one up, it makes the, like, Slender drumbeat noise, which I think is pretty amusing. It doesn't do anything else. Hello, little dudes. Oh, a totally great bridge. This'll not... Definitely not break. Oh no. So. <laughs> the Leaf Suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. So we can do that. And we can't, like, die. But it will kill the valley. So then we gotta use our dope suit to return it to life. See the little, um, leaf branch thing and that just filled it back up all the way to full green? Yeah. And I gotta, let's see, let's get a little bit of momentum by doing this from here. Hup. Ugh. It's always a tough job. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Which I guess would mean... Game over? I don't actually know what would happen if you did that. Hello! Goodbye. Also, when you revitalize trees, they give you acorns. Sometimes. Like that. It doesn't have to be an oak tree to give you acorns, which... I'm just not gonna worry about it, you know? I don't know, if you pull energy from the valley, I don't know if that reduces its health. It might. Excavation site.
said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. This tree, yes. Alright, so now... Gonna open up some boxes. Note from a Pathfinder. Those acorn doors are pretty neat. Captain Hall ordered us co to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways in Sector 3. I'm about halfway there. Note from Virginia King. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree Yggdrasil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But, more recently in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin causing its fall. Hmm. Clunk. Ignore every time I just run face first into a tree, it's fine. <laughs> nothing, nothing bad is happening. <clears throat> All right, let's 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 grow this tree. Tree grows. And then we can just take this out. Ooh. There's another one up there which we gotta go get. technically will typically give you a bunch of acorns if you're near an acorn door that you have to open. By giving life to trees, there is a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. Collect and use acorns to open certain ancient doors. Yeah. And yes, the falling momentum stuff where you break break um things that break break like um you know what I'm trying to say. The walls with the cracks. Um, that applies to running directly at them as well, if they're sideways like that one was. Alright. That only required three, and I have 14 left. Just some grass. The playful little sprites of this valley, which I've come to call Damon, are so lively. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but without a zoologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways. <laughs> uh, keep your cats inside. Note from Virginia King. My mother would tell me stories of daemons as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name seems fitting. It will have to do for now until a zoologist can classify the forest sprites more appropriately. Give me your acorns. Ugh, oh, no acorns. Oh, God. 
I don't take fall damage, but I also don't enjoy redoing all my everything. When I lose progress because I fell like a dingus. I'm stuffed in the corner. And Rita Spheres. This game also features the ability to go a lot of places that you don't realize you're able to go. Like, I'm able to pretty much get on top of any of these rocks if I try hard enough. Maybe not with my suit in the current state that it is. I need some upgrades, but... You know. I can actually do it. This game just lets you do that. If you get too far out of bounds, stuff will get wonky, but... Um, it's actually really good about all that. Oh, I already made it to the second one. Okay. And, as you may notice, it goes this way. So if you're very careful, you can follow this. Over to here. Ordinarily, I don't think you can access this area uh, until later. Unless you take these roots over here. Because it requires a, um, an upgrade that you don't have yet. It requires the Viper Coil, and I don't get that until Titan Rock, I think. Yeah, so... Well, let's grab that tree back up. Why not? Yeah. Unless you go from up there, you can't get to this place until you have the thing that lets you use those. Yeah, there are a lot of places in this game that early game you just can't access without stuff that you get later game. You're meant to come back later and get it. Like, after you- after you beat the story. What needs growing? Some vines. Alright, we'll hop on down. Yeah, see, so you don't actually take any damage or anything. You're totally fine. Acorn, acorn. Yeah, this area is rich in trees that are dead that you can bring back. Um, specifically so that you might have enough acorns for the door that's over here. Yeah, over here. Vines don't give you acorns. Just trees. I just fix all the trees up because I like seeing the trees alive. Like, I don't need to, but I, I, I don't want them to be dead. You know? Alright, let's get on in here. Fifteen. Oh wow, I actually only barely had enough. I just like to keep the energies val the valley's energy up, you know? What do we got here? Medallion, medallion, capacitor. Getting close to another one. What do we got here? There we go. Nice. Should open up this doorway. Allow us to escape here, which is on the other side of this sort of lake area, which, as you may remember, we can't go in, because, well, because, because we'll, because we'll die. The music in this game is so good. But, it's fine. We've got a land bridge. Alright, now to the third one. Which, I'm, if I remember correctly, is some weird stuff that we gotta do to get to it, but I don't remember. I might be wrong. Give me those Amrita spheres. Give me those spheres. Can I get 
up here? Of course I can. This game lets me go anywhere. Ooh, give me that. Yeah, this hilly area is so fun. It's like, yeah, you just want to go anywhere, do anything. Oh, yeah, there's like a whole beach segment over here. Whoa. Which you gotta be careful about, because it, there's water. What the heck? Did you just get, like, an audio glitch? I don't know if that was me or... Maybe it was just my headphones. My headphones have been kind of iffy as of late. So it could have just been those. Freaking out a little bit. <clears throat> there's this bridge. Or I can take the, um... Stepping stones, I suppose. Cool silhouette. No, so there's not actually a See if I can. Huh! Ooh, almost didn't make that, but we're good. Nailed it. No acorns. So no acorn. Somebody made that a meme. <laughs> All right. There's definitely more to this area, which uh, I don't quite think I can explore at the moment. Oh, God. Well, maybe I can. Maybe I can get over here. Yeah, I can get over to this side at least a little bit. There's nothing up here. Dang it. Or, well, there's orbs up here. Yeah, the thing is, like, there's orbs. Oh, that's not- I'm not gonna make it. Oh, dang it. Let's try that again. I want to get up there. Okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Dang it. Maybe I'll wait for the- Maybe I'll wait for the Icarus boost for that. I'll come back to that one. But yeah, there's there's stuff. All right, what do we got, folks? The roots are big, and now I can get in. I can get in underneath this big old tree. Let's do it. I actually didn't mean to fall in there, but I did anyway. <laughs> It did seem to just kind of, like, grasp at mythological straws for this game, which is mm, 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 not great, but... Oh, I'm actually... No, from the Pathfinder. Just my luck. 
first day on a training run, and what do I run into? One of those Amrita swarms they keep on warning us about in the briefing. The darn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? And here we go. Icarus boost. Get to higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boost upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. So now, I gotta double jump. So now we have another voice in the tapes. We have a new a new voice in the tapes. Andrew Fisher. Note from Virginia King. While pyramids are common throughout Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. With proper run-up, you can go far with the Icarus boost. And here's this. Given how rarely a life seed is produced, I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. Must be atop that elevator shaft outside. If you notice me, take a look at that every now and again while I was running around in the valley. M.1098.457.821. Life Seed Cradle. Organic Structure Housing Embryonic Plant. As we can see, it is not here. It's up in the Soma facility, which we'll have to get to somehow. Unfortunately, it might be easier than we fear. Nothing here, right? Just some glowy mushrooms and some rocks. Yeah. Run, hold shift and run down a slope for maximum momentum. Let's do it. Disobeying the laws of physics. Beware of Embrita swarms as I'm fighting it. They can be pacified with life energy. Damage from their attacks will affect your energy count. Damage at zero energy results in death. Once pacified, pass through the swarm to regain Amrita. First, I'm going to check out the area. Because there are stuff. There are things. There's stuff. Note from a researcher. The Amrita swarms indigenous to the valley are incredibly aggressive. It's advisable to maintain a considerable distance between oneself and the swarm. Otherwise, it will send a wave of attack drones towards the victim. Like a bee's defense, the swarms will suicide themselves to protect the rest of the cluster. So basically explaining what those little purple bolts were. It's bugs. It's little bugs. Well, that's precarious. Yes, it is possible to get up here without actually going underneath the tree, but you need later game upgrades to do so. Um, or at least I think it might be. I think it's possible. I believe I've done it, but I don't remember, actually. I think I just jumped from there. Because you if you if you're trying to do it from early game, you don't have the Icarus boost, and I think if you if you do have the Icarus boost, you can make it from here to here. But I don't actually remember if that's true. Chances are you'll just fall in the water and die. You'll be fine, but you'll die. But you'll be fine. You'll kill some trees, but apparently what does that matter? Now the bugs are peaceful. 
They're just little dudes. They're just little dudes. I don't know why they glow, they just kind of do. What's over here? Anything good? Maybe, maybe not. Soma Loading Bay. All drivers must shut off engine, set brakes, lock, shut, shut, chalk, chalk? Chalk wheels. That's gotta be like, old style speech or something, right? <laughs> Like, words... I, I don't know what chalk wheels means. It's probably just linguistics we don't use anymore. Ooh, okay, what, what, what was green? What was green? Grant's life. Yes. Good. All right. Went up through here. If there's one thing I could do without in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders and suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Is it because we're using the Embrita energy? Maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe it's because we're using up all the energy. I remember I've gotten up there before. Don't remember if it was worth it. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I sneezed so hard my headphones fell off. If you heard that. Uh, what's green? I can grant life to something. There we go. Um, I think it was... I think I was trying to do this. No, that didn't work. Hup, nailed it. I don't remember... If, I don't remember if there's anything up here. Is dead? Can I? No? Okay. Uh, yes, there is! Haha! <laughs> medallion. That's about it, though. We'll get into that elevator in a second. Alrighty. Anything over here? No? Okay. Bonk. What's this? Oh ho! This looks like one of the upgrade crates, but it is not a leaf suit upgrade, it's just an energy upgrade. But it's a full canister all at once. The energy canister increases your suit's energy capacity by four units. Oops. And fully refills it. Every time you get a new canister, it fully refills everything. Memo. In case of power shortage, please use Amrita generators. So now we're headed up to the Soma facility. Gener generators used by the army have been designed to accept Amrita energy. Try activating one with your suit's energy. Mm, yes. Oh god. Uh, ear warning! Sorry! Sorry. It's not over yet. Mm. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh lord. It's so loud. It's not over. It's gonna keep going for a couple of seconds after we, after we spawn back in. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing a leaf suit, they are revived at, co at the cost of other nearby living sing things. This exciting yet dangerous functionality is known as quantum immortality. With a very informative in illustration up at the top there.
horrible elevator. Titan Rock. from Private Sparks. McDavid's been riding me again. It's like the guy can't take a nap anymore, anymore these days. Sure, I was on guard duty at the time, but what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. Needless to say, don't fall off the edge. You'll die. Sound design in this game? Very good. Love it when people remember. Oh no! Let me know if the sound is glitching for you at all. Because it kind of is for me. And I can't tell if it's my headphones or anything else. So we're at Titan Rock. We need to get up there. To that platform there. As you may be able to picture, we're probably gonna make a jump. We just gotta get up there to do it. Nailed it. So pretty much refills all your energy. there because I didn't feel comfortable with the distance I was not covering. You can go that way or this way, it doesn't matter. in an acorn. Oh god, I almost didn't jump. Oh, was that already... What? What was just green? What can I give life to? Like a benevolent god. A tree up there. Oh god, oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, that should... Yep, there's the door. Let me through! Is there anything over here? Because, like I said before, you can pretty much get almost anywhere. No, it doesn't look like it. 
Okay. The game might not like it, but you can get there. Ooh. All right. Give me these spheres. What the heck? It's a sandwich. Or some teeth, maybe. Perhaps a bear trap? I can't tell what that's supposed to be. <laughs> wow, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Everything's fine. Nail it. We're good. Ooh, an acorn. Thank you. Hmm, suspicious. Ooh, is there anything down here? No, just the train. Okay. And suspicious rock rumbly noises. Suspicious crumbling sounds. Just what people hear when I eat cookies in the middle of the night in the kitchen. So many utility shack. All personnel must display ID. <laughs> I don't have that. Bonk. No? Okay. Alright, so we'll get on up here. Anything there? No. So yeah, a lot of the time... Heck. Oh, it's just texture. A lot of the time the game will... There won't be stuff hidden in places, but then sometimes the game will reward you for being like, I wonder. I wonder what I can find if I go to a strange little out-of-the-way side location. The rumblies. The rumblin'. Thank you for the Amrita. Look at those little bugs. Oh god. That actually scared me. <laughs> I think there's a viper coil somewhere. No, that was below. Yeah, if you have the viper coil upgrade, you can just get up here. You'll see that later. Much later. Actually, not that, that, not that far in the future, to be honest. It's one of the next ones we get, I think. Note from a worker. Working on the pipes in this place is a real pain. It's as though they went out of their way to build the facility in the worst place imaginable, just to make it tough on lowly pipe fitters like me. Repairing a pressure system leak takes me half a day just to get to it. They ain't paying me enough, if you ask me. Probably not, bud. You might want to find a new position. Memo. Stay on the lookout for any intruders on the premises. A number of guards have reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. It- Jesus Christ. It could be a sign of possible es possible espionage. Report trespasser sightings at once. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Tox, an energy capacitor. Oh, sweet. Got my next canister. Nice. Reminder to all personnel. Please keep a safe distance away from Amrita swarms. They often become territorial ag territorially aggressive when in need of Amrita. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a Pathfinder to pacify the swarm. So, at this point, we've realized... Something's off. There's, there's some connections we should be making here. Some connections we should be, should be starting to make. Okay. But, where I am now, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and end the recording. 
This seems like a pretty decent stopping point. Although, whoa, whoa, we got some texture issues up with the sky. We got some pixels up there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh geez. Let's just not look at that. Let's look this way. Look at that. We'll look down the tunnel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits on this recording. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first part of Valley. I'm speed speeding through it at a decent pace, but uh, that is because it's kind of how you're supposed to play it, at least the first time around. All right. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you want me to continue the series, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'll be doing some more recording probably later today. Um, and aside from that, thank you all for watching. Go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you want to. I'll try and get more actual game videos out instead of just Twitch stream uploads, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!